the first thing you'll need to watercolor paint is of course something to paint on, paper. The second thing you'll need is some water. I put mine at a glass jar I got from a fancy pudding cup. And a paper towel. Now, the most important part is of course, your watercolors. You'll also, of course, need a brush. First technique I'm gonna teach you guys is called wet on wet. It's called that because the paper is wet and the paint is also wet. So first, you're gonna use your brush to get lots of water and put all that water on your paper. And now it's wet on wet, so that means the paper is wet and the paint is wet. So I'm gonna start with blue and I am gonna make it really, really wet. I'm just gonna keep getting some paint and putting it, I mean getting some water and putting it on the paint. I'm gonna take that very wet blue paint and put that on my very wet paper. See how easy that spreads? Now, if you decide that you want it to be wetter, that's all right, just get a little more water and add it. I'm noticing that when I add water to the paper using the wet on wet technique, it makes the blue a lighter blue. Do you guys see any white paint here? Because I don't. So when I want to make my, my colors lighter, instead of adding white paint, like we would do with the paint that we use at school, I'll just add water. Now using wet on wet again, I'm getting the brown extra wet and I'm putting it here on the bottom. I wonder if you guys have guessed what I'm gonna paint yet. Now, you'll notice I have my paper towel here. And if I'm changing colors, or if I realize that I got my brush too wet, I might wanna dry it off. So that is what the paper towel is for. I can just kind of rub my, my brush there and all better. Now for the middle of the paper, I am gonna do something fancy. I've already made it pretty wet and I'm gonna put some blue on there. And now, I made the purple wet too. I'm gonna put some purple on there. And now I'm gonna get a little more water and I'm gonna mix the colors on the paper. What happens, you guys remember at school how we have the water table? Well, what happens if you put two different food coloring colors in the water table? They mix, that's right. The same thing works on watercolor paper and painting. Do you guys see how the same blue I used on top is still a kind of a light blue, but down here, this blue that I mixed with purple is darker. I wonder if you can guess what I'm painting now. Give you a hint, the top blue is the sky. And I realized I forgot to put in any clouds. That's all right. I'm just gonna get some water on my brush. I'm doing this to make sure that there's no color on it just water, and then I'm gonna drop the water using my brush. I'm gonna kind of just paint with the water on the paper. Another technique to use is called dry on wet. So the middle part of my paper is still pretty wet, and I am going to not put quite as much water in this color, the yellow, so it's kind of, it's drier than the other one is. And then I am gonna put it on the paper. It might mix a little bit in there, but that's all right. And that is dry on wet. Now that my paper is pretty dry, we can try a few more techniques. First, we'll do the dry on dry technique. I've got some kind of dry blue paint. Again, it's wet because it's watercolor, but it's not very, very wet. And I am gonna paint a few dolphins in this water. Little dolphins jumping. Oh, there's their dorsal fins. Here's a tail. And they're just dolphins jumping around in the water. And now I'm gonna do wet on dry. This yellow is pretty wet and I'm gonna put it here just to add a little bit of color. 
to the sand. I bet you know what I was drawing now, don't you? If you guessed a beach, well, painting, not drawing. But if you guessed a beach, then you'd be right. We'll do a little wet on wet. Well, it used to be a little bit wetter. A little sand castle over here. It's kind of a little sand dune. And there is my watercolor picture. Now that you've seen my watercolor paint painting, I would love to see yours. I invite you guys to search back in your closet somewhere and pull out some watercolor paint. If you don't have watercolor paint, maybe you could mix it up. Try using food coloring or uh, take an old marker and leave it in a little cup of water. See, we see how that works. You could even take regular thick paint and water it down a lot until it works kind of like watercolor. Please, after you make your painting, send them to me. Put them on the YouTube, put them on our email. I would really love to see the art that you guys make because I know that a lot of you guys really feel happy and good when you make art. Also, y'all make really good art. Now, I am not an artist. Well, Sometimes I'm an artist, but really I'm a preschool teacher, right? But I know that a lot of our parents are artists. I'm not gonna say any names, but we know who you are. Your children are very proud of you and they let us know about all the art that you do all the time. So those artist parents of ours, and even those not artist parents of ours, but who, those who feel artistically inclined, I would love it if you guys did some art tutorials or made some art and videoed it also and put it up on our page. Let's do our community thing. We're really good at that. And I would love to see all of the art that all of us make, not just the kids.